Hi and welcome back to the Peregrine Dame. I'm Rachel Parsons and this is South Africa. We're still at the Tula Tula Game Reserve in Zululand on the Earth Organization's Eco Safari Tour. I'm Rachel Parsons. I travel the planet largely alone in order to get a truer perspective of this amazing globe. No distractions, no itineraries. Up close and personal. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> And I'm ready to show you that traveling solo doesn't have to be so scary. I'm still in South Africa checking out the Earth Organization's Eco Safari Tour in conjunction with the Tula Tula Game Reserve. Although I usually avoid tours like the plague, this one, oddly, has captured my interest. Just what you need on every safari you should ever go on. Ice tones and a wine opener. Most important my kind of safari. While it's all fun and games for the guests on the reserve, the harsh realities of nature still dominate life for the animals and the rangers. Unfortunately, it's been so dry here for most of the winter that there's a higher death rate for all of the animals in the park than usual. The guy we're just looking at drowned in the pool at the lodge the other day. Came up to take a drink, was so weak once he put his head down he couldn't lift it, toppled into the pool and drowned. Unfortunately, in front of a family with small children, but now he's at least part of the natural order of things. And then there are just the minor annoyances. Welcome to South Africa. We may be here a while. We just got some of the old fence wire stuck on the prop shelf, so we're going to try and pull it out now. But I don't know if we're going to see it. If it's not one thing, it's another. What we call road maintenance in the bush. Tula Tula Private Game Reserve is famous for its herd of once rogue, dangerous elephants that now live in peace on the open reserve. But of course, that's not the only game here. Between the morning and evening game drives, you can spend up to five hours a day out on the reserve watching everything from elephants to crustaceans. This is the bush version of a traffic jam. Or a slow moving freeway chase. You can see on him the tops of his horns are bald. That's how you tell the males from the females. The males have bald tips because they fight so much, it only stays rubbed down. So when you see the furry ones, it's a female. When you see the bald ones, it's a male. Learn something new every day. <laughs> He's had enough. The day after I arrive at Tula Tula, the rain that they haven't had all year sets in, causing yet another one of those minor annoyances. All the rain means we get stuck in the mud more out on the game drives, but that's kind of half the fun of it. Although it's freaking cold today. We're stuck. And by nightfall? I have a big problem. The car is stuck in the mud. If we keep trying, definitely it's going to fall off. That's <laughs> why we decided to get off the car and wait other cars will come and help us. Okay, so yeah. we're being rescued. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute. Yeah. It's been raining for days, which is great, because the, the reserve needs it really bad, the animals need it really bad. And, uh, <laughs> the dumb tourists are caught in it, too. <laughs> I thought it was still happy hour. Yeah. It's our own fault, but... The hyenas are going to come <laughs> do a dancing right here. So the hyenas are going to come dance. Yes. We're there first, the hyenas are going to come dance. <laughs> And I'm going to slip in this mud, and these people are still holding out hope that we're actually going to see elephants who don't want to be seen, so it's not going to happen. I voted for baboons. That's all I'm saying. I never did get to see those damn baboons, but I have to hand it to the game rangers at Tula Tula. They deal with a lot of uncontrollable circumstances, and they still handle the guests and customer service impeccably. Next time on the Peregrine Dame, see where we hang out when we're not watching the animals.